Hello YouTube. I want to talk about the rapture. And I'm starting to make videos again. I used to make videos before. And I'm going to make videos again about prophecy because there's some things that have happened and there's things that are going to happen that prophecy talks about. And I believe we're just within very few years until the return of Christ. 90% of Christians in America teach that there is a rapture before a seven-year tribulation period and that that seven-year tribulation period ends with the return of Christ. That's what 90% of Christians in America believe. But <clears throat> I'm going to make videos that show that that isn't true. And what I'm going to talk about first <clears throat> is you can prove that there is no rapture before the mark of the beast. You can prove there is no rapture before the resurrection. And you can prove when the first resurrection occurs. If you look in <clears throat> one of the passages people use for a, what they call a pre-trib rapture is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and it's verse 15 through 18. <clears throat> this is what it says. <clears throat> this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, <clears throat> that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Okay, it's talking about the return of Christ, the coming of the Lord. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven, when? At the coming of the Lord, in verse 15 with a shout, and with the voice, voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. Now notice it's talking about the coming of the Lord. That's his return. He shall descend from heaven at the, his coming of the Lord, and with the trumpet of God at the coming of the Lord. And the dead in Christ shall rise first at the coming of the Lord. Then we which are alive and remain at the coming of the Lord. Of the Lord, the second return of Christ, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, therefore, comfort one another with these words. <clears throat> this is talking about the return of Christ, and at the return of Christ, He will descend from heaven with the voice of the archangel Michael, with the trumpet of God. <clears throat> the dead in Christ shall rise at the return of Christ. That's the resurrection. And it's also the return of Christ. <clears throat> now another passage they use for a pre-tribulation rapture. It doesn't have anything to do with it. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with a pre-trib rapture. <clears throat> it's first, first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. Notice the trumpet again, just like we read a minute ago in 1 Thessalonians. At the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Talking about the resurrection again. And we shall be changed. <coughs> this whole chapter... 15 of 1 Corinthians is talking about the resurrection. If you read the chapter over and over again, it talks about the resurrection. Just multiple times it talks about the resurrection. This whole chapter is about the resurrection. So the resurrection happens at the last trumpet, and the dead in Christ shall be raised incorruptible. Okay, so <clears throat> the resurrection happens at the last trumpet, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, <clears throat> it talks about the resurrection at the return of Christ. That's 1 Thessalonians 4, 15, the coming of the Lord and the resurrection. Now, if you go to the <clears throat> book of Revelation, chapter 20, this is going to tell you when all this stuff happens. Revelation chapter 20. 
And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them which were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, and neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. <clears throat> But the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. <clears throat> this shows you the first resurrection. And there's only one first resurrection. The first resurrection happens after the mark of the beast. After the Christians <clears throat> have their head cut off for not taking the mark of the beast. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is about the resurrection at the return of Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, 51, and that passage is talking about the resurrection. The resurrection and that last trumpet cannot occur till after the people are beheaded for not taking the mark of the beast because it says in Re Revelation chapter 20, verse 5, that this is the first resurrection. That is proof the rapture occurs at the return of Christ when he comes back to the earth after the mark of the beast. <clears throat> the book of Isaiah, and I'm going to look this passage up and I'll put the verse on the screen because sometimes I forget to look passages up. There's a verse in Isaiah that says God tells his people to hide in their rooms, and it uses a different word, and I'll word it, I'll put the verse up, and I'll write it out when I've done with this video. He tells them to go and hide until his wrath is taken, until his wrath is finished. God's wrath does not come on this earth until the return of Christ, and I'm going to show that in other videos. This will be my vi first video, video number one. I'm going to be talking about what the mark of the beast is, because I think I can pretty well prove that with Scripture. I'm going to talk about <clears throat> the four horsemen of the apocalypse in Rev Revelation chapter 6, and tell you what those are. And you've, been, you've been lied to. People have lied in books and in videos and in movies, <clears throat> and it's very, very, very deceiving. The end times are not like what people are telling you. The whore of Revelation <clears throat> is not the Catholic Church, and it's not the Muslims. And I'm going to show you clearly in Scripture what it is. And give me time to make all these videos, and I'll post all this stuff, and you'll see what I mean. This will be my first video. <clears throat> I'm going to call it End Times Video Number 1. God bless you.